Hi everyone. This is the Dendera chart, one of many of the hieroglyphs we've broken down from all around the world. We're going to match this to the crop circle that we investigated on July 5th, the crop circle from, I believe it was July 3rd, over in Wilmington in the UK. But it's going to match a lot of the things on this glyph we show right here, which matches the Bible and showing the end of days coming. We're going to show about this pirate up here. See him up here doing these guillotines? You can see Obama right here, put his face right there, but they had a lot, they have a, many different hidden images in here. And when you look at different places, you will see them. Just as if you look right about here, you will begin to see that this is Obama's eye and this is his mouth, all right here. And this represents the box of Pandora's box being opened, the great tribulation of the Bible coming. See right here? They're actually doing the mark of the beast down here on somebody. And see this pirate getting up? A beast from the bottomless pit, basically, right there. He's right in front of us. But over here is Jesus. He's sitting with his staff. His staff is like an ark. And now he has split the staff and he's sending down this accuser through like a wormhole, right through the staff. And then down here you can see this woman is connected to Jesus. She's as one of the angels of the the seven sisters, the seven angels, the seven churches in Jesus' right hand, right here with this arrow ready to fly. And that is when the accuser comes down and this arrow flies and it represents a rapture type event, a giant cataclysmic event coming actually. It's not going to be just a, they show something huge is going to happen to change the world. Not just people disappearing, earthquakes, tidal waves are going to happen on this day to begin everything. Now we had shown about this guy right here, but I wanted to match it to this glyph. This is the next part. You see Jesus right here? He is leaving with this to go ascend to the throne with what is known as the wise virgins he has chosen. And as he goes, he drags up this figure, seen as the little horn. And then down here you can see this casket, which is for that pirate. See how it looks like the pirate's face right on there? Just like that. And if they're giving out the mark of the beast and putting these snakes in people. If people do not take the mark of the beast, they see this guy with the scythe and they lose their heads. And then you go to be with Jesus though. This will show your faith. And then they're even doing things with the eyes. But this is right here. There's that little horn. We're going to show all of this today. Right over where, you see this guy right here? The little horn? This is where we showed the crop circle, right here in Wilmington. Here is the little horn. Perfect. See the little horn, the little ear, right there, looking like an alien type being? Most likely it's some type of watcher because they're going to blend the iron with the clay at this time, creating abominations. And they talk of blending man with machines and also some type of other DNA, like the Watchers. Whatever they are part of is going to be blended with humanity. But you can see him there, and then you can see this person with this little, just like this, getting the mark of the beast. See this little hat on them, like a fin? It's actually on that glyph. Go back to here. Way up here, see this person blowing a trumpet? And then you can actually see an eagle and the woman. And the Bible, it says the woman is caught away with the wings of an eagle. See the fin on his head? Right there. The trumpet all going. He's right here. There he is creating the abominations. And now right here is that pirate looking pope figure. Get him out of the way. There he is. See his hat? So what I wanted to show is, and as a detective, I wanted to verify a few things here. I wanted to show this. We've just verified this. See the pirate captain with the V for the fifth age? It even looks like Van Halen's logo right there. But there's the little horn and the pirate. And we have the little horn and the pirate. I mean, perfect. This, this is just so perfect. It's right there, right in front of us. Now, I wanted to show how this is also even in on these other posters. We have broken down an awful lot of this one poster, right here. 
for Transformers and several other posters, many of them match the same things. Optimus represents part of this beast rising up. He is seen as this statue right here. In the book of Daniel they talk of five ages and a statue being built, like for us to reach heaven. The top is gold. This is as if it's in heaven. And then all the way down to the feet, which in the end will be made of the iron and the clay. Then it will all be smashed and destroyed later on. But we go through five ages. We are in the fourth age now, the age of grace and mercy, and the fifth age is the great deception, the time of judgment coming right here. That's why you see the big V for everything, the, the fifth age coming. But you can see him, I'm going to show this here. Now we've mapped out a lot of the different things. You can see right here Mark Wahlberg with the key to open the abyss, just as in the Bible. See how his gun is like a key? And then the second horseman of the apocalypse gets a great sword. Now, Mark Wahlberg was wearing a hat that said Indian Motorcycles as he was going through there. Because that has a lot of connections with the Freemasons and such. Let's show this right here. They show that Indian coming on these different murals. This mural that hangs in the Denver International Airport it shows the rapture first, going off to the Pallades, the seven angels, the seven churches, the seven golden candlesticks in Jesus' right hand, where God said all the sweet influence of the universe is bound in one spot, the door to infinity. This bird represents the rapture. The butterfly represents the new monarchy. And you can see right here this guillotine and all the body parts. This Indian is riding this red bull right here. And then he has the oil for the foolish virgins, literally. And then all of the earth is replanted and redone. That's all shown right here. See this right here? Let's show this. Don't forget that we have, I mean, proof. We have crop circles. We have the little horn. We have the pirate guy. We have the mark of the beast coming. <clears throat> Let's show all of this right on here. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> First off, you have the phoenix rising. In the Bible it says the woman will be granted the wings of an eagle to fly away. See how it's the fifth age coming? The five. But there's the woman and here's these domes I show with the phoenix rising with the young man. The domes part we've tracked all the way down to San Diego near Camp Pendleton where all of this begins. Even on this glyph. And don't forget Egypt is supposed to be there. Moses came out from underneath the burdens of Egypt to be set free. Here comes this individual with this V coming with the key to open the abyss. And then here you can see the red bull right there, the red horse of the apocalypse going. And Russia will be rising up. And, but here's the phoenix rapture right here with by these two domes. See the electricity? Just as when the devil falls and we're translated out. They go down and they worship, they have made to worship this crystal skull right here. Or take the mark and take the mark of the beast. See the check mark and the RFID chip? And then they are made to even eat this new type of Eucharist right here, blending everybody together. Exactly as in this movie, excuse me, but in this movie, Optimus blended with the dinosaurs, just like the reptiles blending with humanity. Now all of that is shown right here. See how he's opening the abyss? They're leaving, and here comes the pirate right there. See him right here? Here comes the pirate with that woman right there. Can't fake this perfection. There's that little horn and there's the woman type figure. See them too right there. The pirate people or whatever coming. Right there waking up right there waking up all perfect right in front of us see this here now over here you can see that Mark Wahlberg is actually opening the abyss now over here is the heaven part this is going to be a great deception now when these guys rise up and then over here they're showing giving out that mark of the beast or so First off, you have up here, see this thing like this? 
and it looks like it has the Indian feathers and in its mouth it has that new ball right there with like a little eye on it right there see it this is the new Eucharist right there right in front of us there it is and they are made to worship the image of the beast if they take this if they take this thing they have to take the mark of the beast and stare at this thing literally if they don't they have to come to the sword to go to Jesus and they have to lose their head literally and then at the top the Pallades is seen as a boot that's what it's always seen as like a boot right there see how this is a boot on his shoulder this is actually in the star systems the Taurus constellation stands like Optimus and then the Pallades is seen like a boot and it's on the shoulder of the bull so you can see that right there right in the middle of his chest is even seen part of that crystal skull the way they have the universe designed God has it is we have to get above this thing see here if we get above this thing we're free this is a this is all the burdens of Egypt all of this is the burden now over here it shows the wheel of the great tribulation and all of the people being put into the boot that go to the guillotines right there this is the wheel of the great tribulation see like the sword cutting and anybody that does not take the mark of the beast they go into the boot see here representing the boot way up here called the Pallades so all of that is right there exactly by the Bible right in front of us isn't this amazing I think it's beautiful that God has woken us all up to see all of this and to explain all of these things so perfectly by Scripture there it is perfect let's show the Pallades is on the shoulder of the bull you can see here the Pallades is considered to be the leg of the bull at the time of the gate of man many people say this is during the month of July because July is known as the ghost month when different gates are open between the celestial realms and this is all this all matches scripture Jesus Christ created all of the universe everything that was made was made by him it's all real all around us but you can see there and we have to get over the horns of Isis see this right here the silver gate was represented by the horns of Isis and we have to get over that to get to the top to the leg of the bull and then we're raised above all of those see the Pallades is seen as the shoulder of the bull right here it's all perfectly designed all around see the bull and then the Pallades is up here we have been taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt and we are all the way on top of the bull we're safe we have been risen above everything at that point that's what that represents we're above these feet see here this the rampaging bull we're all the way up there just like this see the the leg of the bull we are over the horns of Isis they're going to be made to worship this up here and eat that new ball and here is the wheel of the great tribulation all perfect all by scripture even with celestial intervention of crop circles to draw us here and see this mapped out on the ground thank you Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved hallelujah isn't God wonderful to do all of this for us, to wake us all up?